and welcome to another video. Today I use this V6 SE to code the pump issue. I do have a video where I'm showing you how you can test this issue and how you can manage to find this problem when the issue pump it doesn't run. I promise you I'll make a video how you can code this issue. Believe me or not, it's not coded. You also notice here I don't have it on the list. I don't have communication with this ECU pump. We do have errors. It doesn't see AKP. Okay. Believe me or not, the car when I try to start it a few times, start a few times, doesn't start it. You also hear it. Now it doesn't start, but after a few times when you try to start the car will also start, also if this issue is not coded. I will close the Insta and we will use NCS Expert to do this job. Okay. And before to go forward, I forgot to tell you, you should also use this program. It's a iTool Radar. You should reserve the IP address. And after that, you can start the NCS Expert. Like we switch on. You notice I use the cable connection, I don't use the wireless. I can do it also with wireless, but better to use the USB connection. You go here on load profile. I will take experiment. And you should press all the time on F1 to take the VIN. And after that, you will go to F3 to, to um, chassis model. In my case, it's E60. I will press OK. It will ask me from where it should take the coding. I will take in this case from CAS. You noticed we have the car over here and a V number. Okay. Now you can go back. When when you go back, you have all the codings. And now you go on process issue because you must to select which uh, issue you want to code it. In our case will be the AKP electronic pump to get it okay now you have uh, already set it for coding if you want to change the job I want to read or do something else you go and change jobs but now I just press on exec execute job because it's already selected you noticed it switch on Okay, I go on execute job, coding active, and it will tell us coding ended and it's finished. Okay, now we go back. You can close the programmer. You switch off. Okay. And now you will be able to start the car. This is uh, the way how you can code the ECU pump on BMW series using this VXDAG. It's not bad at all. I use it many times. I use uh, most of the time with BMW and uh, Mercedes. I'm quite happy. It performs very good. I will show you also on the future video what it's, this one is able to do on Renault because they released a new license for Renault. 
and we'll test it together, okay? We don't have errors anymore. The car will start without problem now. Okay. I hope it was an interesting video for you. If you have suggestions, you can leave me a comment below. If you want to see more coding using this diagnostic, you can also leave me a comment below. If you want to see on different cars on, on different uh, modules, you can also write me on the comments. I will try to make how many videos are possible with this VX uh, Diag because most of the people are asking for this one. As I said, it's a very good diagnostic. I'm not paid to make commercial for them, just I use it because the price is good and uh, the tool is also very good and it doesn't disappoint me, okay? It has a few issues on the BMW. I do have a video. I will leave also a link in the description and you will see what I mind. But overall, this is a good diagnostic, okay? That's it for today. And thank you for watching. Bye-bye.